Hey YouTube, how's it going out there? Back with another Android video here. And today I'm going to be talking about an app called Widgetsoid. And this is the market page for it. It's a, it's a neat little app that lets you customize your home screen. Um, if you remember in the last video, I talked about Desktop Visualizer. And uh, let me just go back to my home screen and bring that screen up that I did. Um, little different icons than last time, but pretty much the same layout. And in the last video, I said I was going to talk about these little uh, toggle widgets here that I had made. And um, so that's what this video pertains to. And of course, Widgetsoid is what I use to make these. And you can do some pretty cool layouts with Widgetsoid, um, which I'll show you on this screen that I made. And everything on here is a Widgetsoid uh, widget. So you can make uh, battery status notifications, a uh, signal notification, a clock, and you can use a custom background on most of the widgets here, just like I did on the clock. You can have a widget for apps, and you can remove the background, as you can see, just the little icons show up. And you can even add contacts into a widget, and then many, many uh, toggles for stuff that's normally buried deep in the uh, in the settings menu. So pretty cool customization tool. So let's go to an empty space here so I can just show you how to add a widget so a widget. So we just go into widgets and scroll all the way down. Oh, a little too far there. Okay. And so here we have the Widgetsoid widgets, um, of course the clock which I showed on the previous screen, the indicator which is like the battery indicator or the signal indicator. Um, mixed lets you combine switches and indicators, um, so that's kind of cool. So just real quick I'm going to make a, a widget on my home screen, let's just make it a one by four. So it's going to be one row by four columns, and here you see we have a blank uh, rectangle up here. This is going to be populated with whatever we choose down here. So from my network, I'm going to want to be able to toggle 3G on and off. Um, how about my screen? Let's see. Still thinking there. Um, let's have the screen timeout be editable editable from here. Uh, sound. I want to be able to turn vibrate mode on and off. Other is some pretty cool options which don't normally come on the, uh, the stock Android power control. Um, battery level, temperature of the battery, how much memory is on your phone and SD card and other cool stuff in there. So from here uh, let's go with SD memory. And then shortcut, as you s saw on the previous screen, um, you can have applications be on here as well, and um, contacts and internet bookmarks. So pretty cool uh, option to use that. And then theme, we can make it square or round on the corners. Um, separation between the icons or not. Uh, highlight is if you want an icon to look like it's always lit up. Otherwise, if you don't turn this on when you're not using that icon or when that option is not turned on, the icon will look dim. Uh, I kind of like that just because it's a good visual indication of what's on or what isn't on your phone. And then, of course, you can choose to show the label underneath or not and edit the color of the label as well. Um, let's just go with black. And neat little uh, color editor here, so you can choose uh, pretty much any color you like. So I'll just select that. Uh, background, I'm going to go with a white background. And you can change the indicator on the bottom. You can do this uh, bar, or you could do a short little dot. Um, I prefer the bar just because it's, again, it's a good, 
easy to look at, quick visual reference. Um, so I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to select, let's go with blue. And I'll set my icons to be black. And the reason I'm going with black icons, um, I'll show in just a second. Let me select advanced here. And modifiable icon. This is, if I select this, you see a little sprocket kind of came up in the corner there. That'll make it easier to come and edit my widget later on if I feel the need to change colors or, you know, what's on it. And I'm not going to mess with these for right now. I'm going to hit apply. Do I want to edit global preferences? Not right now. So here we go. Um, and now just because this... This... Um, is a four column home screen and I selected a four column widget you can actually put up to eight items in there and if you have tiny fingers which I do not that's pretty good if you like so I can check more things here and again it just keeps crowding and crowding and you know it's like I said just as many as you want on there um, back to those other options that I didn't mess with yet. So I'm going to turn notification on. Enter a label for this profile. You can do that if you want to. And if you want to save it and keep it for later, uh, just hit OK. And so now if I hit apply, you see some uh, activity going on in my notification tray up here. If I pull that down, you can see the toggles are in my notification tray, which is kind of cool. Um, if you don't turn that on, if you come in and turn it on later, um, you can't make the widget invisible. Uh, go to advanced. So here, there was an option to make it invisible, but since I created it and then applied it and then came back and edited it, edited it that option is no longer there so if I just hit apply if I were to make a new widget scroll 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 let's do another one by four um, oh I did a mixed one uh, let's go back And Mixed just puts um, the notifications as well as the toggles into one bar, which is pretty cool, convenient. Let me go Widget Switch Switcher 1x4. Let me go. I select. Uh, let's put 5 on there. And then Other. Change the theme. The reason you have to make the icons black or something that's not white is because when you pull the notification tray down, they're very hard to see. So that's why I did that. Um, actually, let's do none on this one. And bottom color, uh, let's go with green. Kind of like the uh, stock Android power control widget look there. And icon color, go with black. So now, oh, I don't want to show the label too. Make that black. Now when I go to advanced, <clears throat> you'd see we have the widget invisible option here. So I'm going to check that. Check notification. Just say OK. Check that. And hit apply. No, I do not want to edit global settings. So now, here you have your notifications up here, which is really convenient if you have something that you're just constantly going to, um, and you hate having to back out of an application to go to it. Say you get a lot of texts, you can put a shortcut to your messages app up here, or your email, again, just really quick and convenient for it to be there and nice little 
option, and you can't see it on the screen because we selected Widget Invisible. So, pretty cool. Um, definitely nice for customizing your home screen. And, again, you can make crazy looking layouts like that just using Widgetoid. Or if you want to combine it with Desktop Visualizer, you can do even more uh, eccentric looking home screens like this. So, that's it for Widgetoid. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Bye.